Oh, good evening, chat. Good evening. I hope you've all been uh, behaving yourselves. There's, uh, there's a new sheriff in town. I don't know if you're aware of this. But the bullylist.org, they're keeping track. Keeping track of all you naysayers out there, all you bad people, you filthy little bully jerks. Your days are numbered. <laughs> this site might be the most amazing thing I've ever seen. If Candace Owens had actually gone through with her horrendous idea, uh, this is probably what it would have become. There have been a few attempts at it before. People talking about doing something like this, but we've got the real deal. So now we can see what it looks like when somebody creates a website to catalog and track bullies on the internet and shame them for the things they've said. Now maybe the creator of the website wasn't really thinking ahead when they put in a voting system for what constitutes bullying or not. But we're going to take a look nonetheless. I think it sounds like just good fun. Just just good old fun. They've got quotes from politicians, an FAQ section, a, a place that you can submit the bully to. And so if you're being harassed online, I think I might have found something for you. I think I might have found a website that's going to help you through those tragic, difficult nights to deal with the just awful people on the internet. I don't know, Chad, are you excited? Do you want to look at the bullylist.org? I just looked at it, and uh, it might be the most fantastic website ever assembled. I, th I think we should. I think we should dive into it. I think we should uh, take a closer look at how we handle those bullies. It's got tips and tricks and an FAQ and everything else. <laughs> it's fucking good. It's really good. Okay. Let me, I, okay, the first thing I want, I want to make sure, I'm going to have to push that up a little bit because I don't want to give it away. I want you all to, well, you know, I'm just going to show you the front page, then we'll lead, because they put the posts up for you to read, and we'll, we'll play a little game. We'll go through what people have said, and you can choose whether you think that's bullying or not, and then we'll compare it to the user base of thebullylist.org to see if your, if your fucking answers match up with theirs. Uh, okay, let's get rid of that. There we go. All right, prepare yourselves. We're going bully hunting. It's bully hunting time. Nope, nope, that is not what I wanted to do. That... Nope, nope, that is not what I wanted to do. That was... I'll leave that on. Take that off. There we go. There you are, chat. You're beautiful. You're up on screen with everybody. This is thebullylist.org. First thing that greets you is a metrosexual 20-year-old who's obviously confused about their own gender, uh, giving you the, the bullet points of the website. So let's, let's read that. Let's read along, shall we? Call out bullies. Their hate speech and their friends. This motivates bullies to delete their posts. When they do, we take them off our list. So it's a reset for the bullies. And that's how we stop bullying and hate speech. When you call out a bully, your identity stays private. Your name is not required. <clears throat> well, I think that's off to a good start. You could be completely anonymous and submit anything you want to the bullying list, and they will put it up for people to vote on. And name and shame anybody to your heart's content. I couldn't see that being a problem. You know, people creating fake fake accounts with fake profile pictures and putting names of people they dislike on there. You know, complete bait uh, <laughs> fucking social media accounts and then submitting them. Got a teacher you dislike? Don't like your boss very much? The bully list is here to accommodate you. Because now your boss suddenly said something horrendous about the Jews. And that neighbor that won't stop mowing his lawn at 6 in the morning. Well, he just can't stop talking about how much he likes to beat women. Oh, the Bully List is a well-manufactured website. Now, you can see the Bully List, a recent post. There's one right there. You know, we'll, we'll take a look. We'll take a look. Uh, let me try to hide that a little bit more. There we go. You tell me, chat. We'll, we'll go through a few of these, and then we're going to really dive deep into this shit. The Bully List recent post is a YouTube video making fun of a girl for having ham nipples bullying. <laughs> she cried and skipped school for a week, and everyone in my town has seen it. If so, I'd like to be on the list because that would be cool. If you would kill yourself over something so petty, maybe you should, because that's fucking retarded. Now, Blair McPunkrock, which is obviously his real name, Blair McPunkrock, I think we've all heard of him the famous gentleman from uh, Connecticut what do you think chat is that <laughs> is Blair talking about a fat girl with ham nipples killing herself is that bullying and the demanding to be put on the fucking list 
Let's see what the bully list said. Oh, I'm sorry. 484 thought that was bullying, but the majority, 665, disagree. Well, Blair McPunkrock, I, I'm happy to tell you, your post is not bullying. So when, you're, when your boss, when your boss looks at all, that was one of their taglines for this website. Uh, we make it so uh, when you try to get a job, your name is your name is on here. Well, the people have spoken. Ham nipples and wishing her suicide, not bullying. Blair McPunkrock, well done. Now, I, I want to read you some of the comments people have left, and we'll see if it's bullying or not. But first, uh, let's let's just navigate the site because there has been comments by four U.S. senators. Let's see what the U.S. senators have said. Uh, we contacted the offices of each of these senators for comment on the state of hate speech and the internet today, as documented on thebullylist.org. Here are their responses: Senator Amy uh, from Minnesota, no comment. Senator John from uh, Louisiana, no comment. Senator Marco from Florida, no comment. Senator Mark from Virginia, no comment. Oh, they're really blazing a fucking path into the front lines of anti-bullying. <laughs> we applaud the effort of these senators who won't respond to our shitty fucking website. Oh, that's a bit hurtful. I'm going to have to hide this. I want to show you other parts of the website before we go to the, the main course here. So let me skip, let me skip by it because I don't want to give away the fun stuff yet. And, uh, okay, here we go. Oh, there's so many posts on this fucking site. All right, here we go, here we go. Uh, display capture, there we are. The Bully List. I'm going to read you their spiel. You tell me what you think. Stop a bully in 60 seconds. We will help you. We post the bully's name, school, or employer, and the social network that enabled the bully. This happens immediately. Chat, this happens immediately. There's nothing preventing you from entering any fucking thing you want onto this website. It's immediate. We, we report the bully to the network that provided the bully's account. Then we post the network's response. We keep you updated each step of the way. And we'll read more in the FAQ there. Your information remains 100% confidential. How we shut down the bullies. When an inappropriate post is removed by a bully or a network, the entry is also removed from the bully list. This provides the bully with an opportunity for a reset. Why are we doing this? We want to end bullying. We believe people are more likely to become bullies when they don't get the support they need from their community, friends, family, and institutions. So bullies try to raise themselves up by pushing others down. We believe the fault lies not entirely with the bully, but also in part with the people that surround the bully. Who may be failing to provide the support everyone needs by likewise er needs. Likewise, we believe the bullies community can be a part of the solution by pointing out the error of the bully's ways, encouraging the bully to do better, providing the support that may be lacking. While we condemn the bullying, we do not judge the bully or the bully's community. I think they literally do judge. They have a fucking feature built into the website to quite literally judge the bully. <laughs> it's a voting system you implemented. You actually coded it into the website. Uh, uh, nor do we bear any malice towards anyone. Instead, redemption is our desired outcome. That's why we've made it easy to get off the bully list. In most cases, anyone can be removed from the bully list with no more than a click. However, we prefer, we prefer that everyone first engage with the bullies, provide them with more support, and encourage them to change their ways. Because that's most likely to provide the most benefit to the most people. We disagree with those who believe this is an invasion of privacy. Instead, we believe it is essential to the bullies com or to involve the bullies community. We agree with the CDC that suicide and the extent to which bullying contributes to suicide is a serious public health issue. The rate of suicide has increased more than 30% in fewer than 20 years. As such... It's in the public's best interest to be fully aware of any attendant issues. They go on a little bit more here. Talking about uh, your privacy under the First Amendment. Furthermore, uh, Facebook's terms of service clearly state in plain English that certain content you share with Facebook is both public and Facebook's privacy controls do not allow you to change privacy settings for certain pieces of content. These pieces of content include but aren't limited to your name, profile picture, and cover photo, your network such as school or work, any content you share with friends and the friends decide to make public with or without your knowledge. 
And then it goes into state laws. Uh, what can you do at school? What can t- you know kids do? We'll look at the tips and stuff. But let's go back up, and we're gonna we're gonna play a fucking game, guys. We're gonna go through the bully list. We're gonna read these uh, horrendous posts, and we're gonna see is that bullying? Do, do I do I believe if this is bullying? Uh, let's just let's see. Let's see how well this is working out for the creators of this amazing fucking website. All right, uh, let's let's begin. We've already read our first one. Next up, it's at the very bottom of the screen. I, it's the best I can do at the moment. Tired of all these niggas. Honestly, I think God made for us superior races to use as currency to trade goods and services. <laughs> Blacks are more natural than currency, and I'd rather I'd rather sell niggas than cut down trees to make money. Trees are worth more than niggas lives. Now, what do you think about Casey Seed? Would you consider that to be a bullying comment, chat? Or does that seem like it's not a bullying comment? Let's see what the bully hunters, I'm sorry, the bully list had to say about Casey. Well, uh, uh, Casey, congratulations. Uh, 682 said that is bullying, but 869, the majority, have voted that that is not bullying. Enjoy selling n- <laughs> like they're goods, Casey, because the bully list has said that is not bullying. Oh, we've got one. I'm a black neo-Nazi Trump supporter, and I hate the gays. Hmm, let's see. Let's see what the bully list has to say about that. 987 did feel that was bullying. But again, the vast majority, 1,133, disagree. Deontay Mitchell, congratulations. You are not a bully. Oh, we've got one from Bonnie Burgess Thompson. They are both bisexual and no one wants... Uh, no one wants them. None of the neighbors either. Disgraceful and disgusting. I don't know. Let's take a look and see what we think of that. 657 agree it is bullying, but again, the vast majority, 770, disagree. Not finding a lot of bullies on the bully list so far, chat. Maybe we have to look for a real winner. Let's keep going. We have one from Matthew Coleman. How about you get on your knee? <laughs> How about you get on one knee and suck my monkey's scrotum and then choke on his long tongue because we all know I'm ten times better than you. <laughs> and it's a picture of like a fucking ten-year-old. Well, let's see if that. Uh, let's see if Matthew is a bully or if he's not a bully. Matthew, congratulations. Six hundred and twenty-three say you are, but the majority, seven hundred and eighty-four, say you are not. Matthew, a bully. Feel free to tell those retards to get on their knees and suck your monkey scrotum. You are, in fact, better than them. Ten times better. As promoted by the bully list. I'm enjoying this. Let's let's read some more. Uh, this one comes from Jeffrey Freemark. Honestly, when it comes to blacks in America, I almost wish the South won. And they just shot them all. Blacks just aren't equal to whites. You could see that in history with both the color... <laughs> colonizing of Africa, and slavery. Deport them all. Well, let's see. Chat, would you say, is that bullying to you, or is that not bullying? Let's let's take a look at what Jeffrey was rated. Uh, Jeffrey, congratulations. The bully list agrees. Uh, 1,100 said that was bullying, but the vast majority, 1,600 people. That is not bullying, Jeffrey. We have... Uh, uh, I skipped past this one. This was really popular. Uh, from Vito Gusadali, go back to Nigeria, you are full of AIDS. <laughs> There's an editor's note. Editor's note. Posted this hate speech to promote his comedy channel on YouTube. Uh, the bullying vote on this one, 1,400 say that's not bullying. 637 say that is in fact bullying. <laughs> Ashley Snook Ashley Snook who spelled out the G in a chain of the word n- uh, I'm, I'm not sure what site this was on but she was the G in trying to get the, the power word n- in uh, let's see was the G enough to be have her rated as a bully no no 2 to 1 on this one 2200 disagree that this is bullying to the 1400 that believe typing the letter G is in fact bullying Congratulations, Ashley Snook. You're okay. <laughs> you trying to lick Melania's taint? That There's not a lot going on with this one, but Sam, congratulations. On a, a scale of 5 to 1, you are not a bully. Congratulations. 
uh, from Sigurd Iceheart Grimhild. The Holocaust never happened, but never forget the six grillion whoops got turned into soap. Tell me, chat. Let's find out. I'm I'm curious. Again, overpowering, nearly six to one. Telling people that this, <laughs> telling people about six grillion who got turned into soap is not, in fact, bullying, according to the bully list. We've got one from Zach Passmore. You guys remember Amanda Todd? It's all my fault. I'm the inventor of bleach. Another editor's note here. Amanda Todd attempted suicide by drinking bleach. Then she killed herself by hanging as a result of cyberbullying. Oh, what do you think? Do you think uh, you think Zach's in trouble here? I don't know. No, the vast majority agree. This was a heartfelt apology from the creator of Bleach. 1,200 disagree with 650 agreeing. Zach, you are not a bully. <laughs> I'm, I'm getting the feeling that you really... Like, I, <laughs> these guys have a very harsh grading mechanic. The metric they're using to say whether or not you're a bully, it's it's really out there. But let's keep reading. Maybe we'll find a bully eventually. Go fuck your father, you belligerent cunt. From Hakade Zen, a.k.a. Victoria Crisson. Well, did telling that belligerent cunt to go fuck her father get her listed as a bully? No, in fact, it did not. An overwhelming 10 to 1 degree that that belligerent cunt should, in fact, go fuck her father. We found a bully, gentlemen. It was very close, though. Sean Couch. Ha ha ha, nigger subhuman. 272 said, you know what? That is bullying. 254 disagreed. A difference of of 18. 18 people were the deciding factor on, hmm, is Sean Couch saying nigger subhuman? Is that bullying? Do I, do I really want to think? I don't know. Maybe he meant that in the funny ha ha way. You know, like, ha ha, niggers are subhuman. Like he said in his tweet. <laughs> it's a very close one, Sean. Uh, you're going to have to issue an apology, though, I think. From Ailey Kennedy. Get your shit cleaned out, Kenzie Smith. Hopping from dick to dick. Nasty probably smelling like all you can eat tuna buffet. Oh, uh, Allie doesn't like the whore that she's talking to. Clearly, this thought needs to be patrolled. Let's see if her thought patrolling was, in fact, bullying or not. It was. I'm sorry, but saying that she jumps from dick to dick was just too much. This this website obviously has the pulse of what is offensive, it isn't. And 68 to 51, again, very close, only 17 difference. Telling that bitch she smells like a tuna buffet was a step too far for the bully list. We've got one from Geneva Rutt. No one fucking likes you, and no one would ever sexually assault you unless they're blind and have no sense of smell. You ugly as fuck, and no one will ever link you. So knock it off and come talk to us to our face. Though, for real though, I agree with the person that said they wish you were aborted. Now, does demanding a bitch get aborted and telling her she's so ugly and smells so bad no one will ever rape her? Is that bullying? Let's find out if Geneva Rutt's in, in trouble or not. Oh, three to one. Three to one telling that bitch she didn't deserve to get raped. 150 agree, 51 disagree. Now, chat, I think the tides have turned, but let's see. From Jules Rosa. Yeah, I didn't want to just be a complete bitch, but I'm not sure what your problem is. Your channel is never going to take off. Genuinely, you're an ugly person. <laughs> that, in fact, though, is not bullying. With a 45 agreeing, 60 disagreeing. I, I think bully list is spoken. When they say that Jules Rosa was right, that is an ugly bitch whose channel never is going to take off. Here's run from Matt Parsi, my ex-abuser that still harasses me. He would point the guns to my head or threaten me with knives or tasers, and I'd have to leave. Smashed over six of my past iPhones. He tells me to this day he has someone looking for me, even though I'm pregnant. <laughs> People need to know about this piece of shit. That's a... I'm, I'm guessing the ex is the way... <laughs> Let me get this straight. So this chick is being stalked and harassed by her violent ex-boyfriend. And the violent ex-boyfriend submitted the post where she calls him out on social media, saying that she's bullying him. I don't know. Let's see what the site says. 186 say it is bullying. The vast majority, 900, disagree. They're not buying the ex's bullshit. 
Oh, uh, we've got a very short one on Instagram, I'm imagining. From Sharon Bright, fat cunt. Just a straightforward, you are a fat, filthy cunt. 48 agree, 48 disagree. We've got a split decision here. I don't know which way to go. Uh, chat, you're going to have to do the tiebreaker. Is Sharon Bright calling people fat cunts on Instagram? Would that count as bullying? Oh, chat, that's that's hurtful. She bullied him into come, or she bullied his come into her cunt. I don't know if you can leave comments on the bullying comments, but uh, we're we're seeing a lot of no. Congratulations, Sharon Bright. Uh, people do believe that whoever you were talking to is in fact a fat fucking cunt. Let's move on. Click see screenshot link to see cat with gun to its head <laughs> from Pixelfit. Is a cat shooting itself in the fucking head? Uh, bullying. Well, let's find out. 442 agree that the cat shooting itself is in fact fucking bullying with 51 saying it's not uh, let's you know let's take a look at the screenshot may this might be too hot for TV we'll find out graphic warning you may find this image disturbing well let me let me just put up the safety screen we don't want to offend anybody in the audience as we take a look at whether or not <laughs> are you fucking okay <laughs> all right uh this was the this is considered bullying on instagram new phone who dis gun to the cat's head you're so pretty and i wonder if she'd want to be friends what was y'all's first impression of me clearly we need to name the bully and hixel fit it's a bridge too far putting a gun to a cat's head what are you what are you thinking what are you thinking oh let me double check the audio there we go all right well, here's a very straightforward one. I don't know why this wouldn't exist. <laughs> I'm confused here. Jordan Atkins on the bully list saying bullying is good sometimes from the Eat a Bag of Dicks Facebook uh, page. And the vast majority of the people on the bully list agree. 1,239 saying this isn't bullying. 700 uh, saying it is. It seems like the vast majority of people on the website dedicated to dealing with bullies thinks bullying is, in fact, good sometimes. I'm glad we've reached the consensus on this. From Marshall Olson, if American sports were this entertaining, I would buy season tickets. Argentina soccer fans riot, chanting, kill the Jews to make soap. Let's find out if that was a bridge too far for Marshall. 829 said no to 613 that said yes. I'm getting, oh, we've got a very straightforward one. Uh, Dan Clayton just doesn't give a fuck. Uh, just straight up Nick. Dan Clayton saying Nick. That bullying. 1,200 disagree. It is not, in fact, bullying. 900 say it is, in fact, bullying. Congratulations, Dan Clayton. The bully list feels you saying and calling people Nick is not, in fact, bullying. I'm glad we have a place to go to check what we can say now. From Skylar Gabriel. Hey, do you guys, uh, hey, do you guys help Nick like me? I'm being bullied at school by some fucking faggot who thinks being trans is okay. It's a lot to unpack with Skylar's message. Let's find out what the bully list said. 749 to 727. Congratulations, Skylar. Talking about that faggot trans person who won't, uh, who keeps attacking you, a self-identified name. Not in fact bullying. According to the bully list, not bullying at all. <laughs> this is amazing. Oh, we've got one from William Ridgeway. Do I get on the list if I hate Nick faggots, or can I just, or can I get on if I just suck their dicks? I believe women need to be returned to the kitchen and make men sandwiches and deserve physical discipline from their husbands when they fail to make men sandwiches. It's a very bold statement from uh, William. Let's find out what he says. Oh, 1100 and 900. William, you can't get on the list. That's not bullying. From Brandon Connolly, kill yourself, you crackhead bitch ass faggot. Suicide is the best way to go. They make Tide Pods and bleach and rope. I will stop bullying when your mom stops giving me head. I would like to volunteer to kick you in the pussy. <laughs> Where do I sign up? Three steps. Step one, kill. Step two, your. Step three, self. I, that might be a little bit too on the nose. Let's find out if Brandon Connolly was, in fact, considered a bullied. 
Oh, that one, that one, Brandon, was just a bit too much, even for the bully list. Uh, 1,300 agreeing, that is in fact bullying. 581 saying, no, I don't think it's bullying. So a third of the audience was okay with you <laughs> with you threatening to kick somebody in the pussy and make them drink bleach pods or whatever the fuck that was. Uh, let's continue. Oh, we've got one. Well, uh, that one's... Well, you already see the results. Whatever, we'll just read through. Uh, this is from Danny Mina. Looks like some Jews managed to miss out the trains, or looks like some Jews missed, <laughs> Jesus, looks like some Jews managed to miss the trains out to Auschwitz. That's okay. I love hunting. Well, Danny, that's not bullying at all. 212 disagree, 149 agree. <laughs> From Gabriel Stone, hippity hoppity, women are property. No, that, two to one, nobody thinks that's bullying. The bully list agrees. Hippity hoppity, women are in fact property. From Pichu Punte, you're only going to get bashed on until you finally commit fucking suicide like Jesus. Fuck you, you were a failed abortion. Harsh words from our friend Pichu Punte. But the vote was very close, only only getting edged out by about 21 people. 693 saying that is in fact bullying. 627 saying, nope, I don't think so. Maybe it was the committing fucking suicide like Jesus that pushed it a little over the edge. We will never know. From Danny Saunders, women's suffrage was a mistake and the Holocaust was a joke. I have a Nazi rifle and Nazi coins. I hope all of your employers, or employees get cancer and can't afford health care. Bully list, make me harder slut buckets. <laughs> I think Danny is daring them to put him on the website. Well, let's see if their slut bucket uh, ass put him up there and what the vote was. People are agreeing. The bully list is, in fact, a slut bucket. 550 saying Danny is not bullying the bully list. 486, who are probably the amount of employees working at the bully list, saying it is, in fact, bullying. From Aaron, Chad, what kind of Jewish faggotry is this? Put me on the list, faggot, before I beat my wife while I make her cook me a meal with the oven I use to burn the Jews. Aaron Chad, is that in fact bullying? No, the bully list is spoken. 542 disagreeing that it is bullying. 414 saying that is bullying. Holy shit. This website is amazing. We'll read a few more here. I just, I wanted to go through this before this really gets fucked with. So, from Knut Sigurdsson. Anyone want to be added to a serious group? It's for actually advancing the white national agenda, not for joking around. Donate to avoid becoming a Jew. Well, let's say what Knut Sigurdsson uh, was uh, judged as. Again, the bully list community coming out in full support. 621 saying that is not in fact bullying. 240 saying it is. The most underrated cook of all time coming in from Dayton Williams. And his answer to that question was Hitler. Hitler was, in fact, the most underrated cook of all time. 842 thing, saying that was a factual statement. 124 being offended by it. Congratulations, Dayton. The bully list agrees with you that Hitler, Adolf Hitler, was, in fact, the best cook of all time. From Ghost Haas, unpopular but true fact, women are craving bondage and pain because their bodies are denied their biological hardwired need to experience the intensity of childbirth. <laughs> I believe Ghost Haas believes that women like being beaten by their uh, boyfriends and husbands. Let's see if the bully list agrees with this. 668 people did agree with this. Only 167 disagreeing. So it seems that the bully list agrees with the fact women deserve to be uh, in bondage and pain. Uh, bully list is really putting itself out there with some hard-hitting fucking statements. Uh, D. Oswa Edwards, go cry over yourself, kid. If you were so educated, he'd still be here. Fuck off. I believe this is somebody talking on a memorial page. Let's go take a look. Uh, oh, it's a messenger. Get Okay, fuck off. You're not healthy, neither is she. Look at her. That's why it happened. Truth be told, she's so fucking big, unhealthy, teeth fucked. I'm surprised your sperm works being the way you are. That's why it happened, lol. Fuck off. Oof. Really going in for uh, the full kill on that one. 579 saying they don't believe that uh, Diaz uh, Edwards was being a bully. You know, we should be reading the screenshots. Here's one from Rex Reynot. I hate black people and women. Let's see what that was in context for. 
I'm just on Facebook. I hate black people and women. <laughs> 500 saying 552 to 265. This is not bullying. Now, this one seems a bit on the nose. This is from Sven Svartel, a.k.a. Connor Freeman. I will bully feminists into death. Shut the fuck up, you retarded. Let's find the rest of this statement before we see the vote tally. Oh, that is the rest of the statement. It just ends with an N. I will bully feminists to death. Shut up, you retarded N-word. And uh, the bully list <laughs> coming down definitively. That is not, in fact, bully. <laughs> Bullying feminists to death is not bullying, according to the bully list. Amazing. Simply astounding. Well, we're just gonna we're gonna we're gonna pound throw a few of these. This shit looks so or this shit looks dumb as hell. What moron came up with this awful idea? Slap me on that fucking list because this shit deserves to be made fun of because of how fucking dumb it is. It deserves to be raped. <laughs> bullying makes kids stronger. Michael Hamley dropping the red pills. 549 saying this isn't bullying or hate speech. 175 saying it is. Congratulations. People on the bully list agree that the bully list deserves to be raped. <clears throat> it looks like there's a few from here. Uh, exactly my point. So if I claim that this page was being raped by 99% of the people that came across it because it's so obscure, would it be its own fault? Because how fucking dumb it is? It deserves to be raped? It was asking for it? These things aren't bullying. Well, that's confirmed as fact. The bully list does, in fact, agree that it deserves to be raped and was completely asking for it. From Dylan Johnson, I never post shit like this on Facebook, but I was just in the most controlling mentality or mentally abusive relationship ever. Samantha showed me my fake love and affection get pregnant. I wake up to be called a dumb lying mutt or worse. I'm tired of all these abuse posts of all about women. Men get it the same way. She says she's scared I'll put my hands on her when facts are she punched me. Well, the bully list agrees that she had it coming, 779 to 33. Oh, <laughs> simple, God is a bully. They fully agree with that. According to the Center for Disease Control and Prevention, suicide is a leading cause of death in teens 15 to 19, second only to accidents. According to the Daily Mail, bullying is linked to half the suicides among 10 to 14-year-olds. And we've got, those statistics sound like natural selection to me. And the bully list agrees. It is, in fact, natural selection. And finally, rounding up our list. One time in elementary school, I was being physically bullied by an older kid. One day I rode his bus home and fucked his mom. We ran a train on the bully's mom. And there's an editor note. Ran a train, usually regarding one female and multiple males simultaneously. Synonymous with gangbang. The end. The bully list agrees. Fucking a bully's mom is in fact not bullying. Congratulations, Jeremy Combs, a.k.a. Sad Boy JC. Fucking the shit out of his mom and running a train on her ass was the correct response. I love that they put a message from the editor in there. How fantastic is that? Oh, this is a, a great website. In fact, I don't see any problems with this website ever emerging. The fact that you can anonymously enter any information you want to call anyone out you want and have it not be substantiated or verified. The fact that people could create fake profiles with fake profile pics of people they dislike, have them say horrendous things, and then anonymously and confidentially submit that to the website to have it voted on in a voting system that has uh, no safeguards in place. I don't see this going wrong at all. In fact, right now, I'd say the bully list is pretty red-pilled and based. They, they don't seem to think much is bullying on the bully list, with the exception of the guy that said, <laughs> well, the one who kept talking about forcing somebody to fucking kill themselves. That was just the bridge too far for them. Everything else, though, is A-OK. -okay. So if you would like to call out a bully, I highly support using thebullylist.org. You can use it confidentially and anonymously and make sure to vote on all those entries. We need to make sure that people are aware whether or not what we're seeing is in fact bullying or if it's just good old-fashioned uh, uh, boys being boys. Holy fucking shit. Whoa. It's a good website. Uh, very short stream.
ladies and gentlemen. I just wanted to look at the bully list, read out a little bit of the bully list, and then uh, uh, call it a day. I want that. I want that saved. I just want to be able to say we looked at it before whatever's going to happen to it happens because something's going to happen to it. I've had a few super berries fall from the sky. Let me read those very quickly, and then we'll call it an evening. You can go check out the Ralph Retort. Uh, go watch that if you're looking for an evening stream. From ZT, null move over. Bully list is going to usurp Kiwi Farms as the prime evil of the internet. Lost in the void. Also, bullying does not make you or does make you stronger. I used to be a little piece of shit smug pussy until I got bullied into shape. People should encourage it early and often. Hey, Jim. You know what motivates me when I go to the gym? Looking at smug journalists on the television there and reading the captions of the shit they're spewing. Really gets the blood pumping and helps you work out through per, er, pure rage. From Cecil McFly. Jim, I found that stinky cosplay girl. CGL and V named her Tuna Chan. Uh, yeah, actually, I have that video queued up for tomorrow morning. Uh, there's a video of her dancing with people and a couple of guys looking like they're going to gag to death. Apocalypse Lemon. Hey, <laughs> nigger. When David Duke comes on, get on TRR. MV89. Goddamn, Jim, stop bullying Ralph and stealing his time slot. Death Watch. You are a massive, massive faggot for not turning on the Stream Me app notification. Zion Man 235. How am I supposed to keep the internationalist Jewish conspiracy up to date on you if you keep deleting your streams, you fucking potato <laughs> nigger? From Synac, AC, or Synac 9. Don't read this out loud. Well, Synac, you're lucky I caught myself there. I will make sure to ask that question, Synac. From Moonanite, have you seen Chris Chan on here yet? Is Chris Chan on the bully list? Uh, no. Is Chris Chan on the bully list? Hold on, ladies and gentlemen. We might have a, a special appearance by a special boy. Well, we have to take a look, though. <laughs> okay. All right, we'll take a look at this. <clears throat> Breaking news. Christian is listed on the bully list. Let's take a look. Christian Weston Chandler wrote, I pray to God and Jesus to kill you. If we ever meet in public, I will beat you. I will beat your lights out with hard punches. This was uh, posted on January 27, 2019. Unemployed from Ruckersville, Virginia. Social media was Twitter. Is this you? If you believe this entry is fraudulent, untrue, or unfair, you may begin the dispute resolution process. Christian, what's going on? Why are you praying to God and Jesus that people need to be killed? That's bullying, and that's just wrong. Nobody likes a bully jerk, Christian. What are you doing, champ? Uh, we've got one here from Senator Hitler. My official senatorial response to the bully list is, In this age of Me Too, Time's Up, and Gungate, it's ever clear to me and my colleagues that there is one, or but one final solution to bullies, and it will require a mass labeling campaign like this. My chat froze on me for a second there, but okay. Uh, we've got something going on here. Hold on, chat. Let me refresh. Oh, why are you doing this to me? All right, is it back on? For some reason, it froze up on me. My chat died on me right in the middle of doing this, and then I saw people pressing F, and then it just completely went to shit. We're back. Gay ops. Chris Chan did not like being exposed on the bully list. All right, I've got a few more super berries to read, and then we'll, we'll close it up here. So let me just pound through them. I'll just like two more, and we're done. Oh, uh, where are we here? There we go. I'll reread this one in case it cut off while I was doing it. From Senator Hitler, my official senatorial response to the bully list is, In this age of Me Too, Time's Up, and Gungate, it's ever clear to me and my colleagues that there is but one final solution to bullies. And it will require a mass labeling campaign like this. From Furry Gassing Weeb. Fresh coffee, burning incense, Final Fantasy on my TV, and my favorite YouTuber streaming. As if tonight couldn't get any better. Have some shekels goyim. Stay safe, friend. Please keep yourself safe if you even think of bullying someone. There's a link from Senator Hitler. I'll look at that in the morning stream tomorrow. Baron von Ungren Sternberg. Very happy to see you streaming tonight. Can finally take a break from the kill stream. Please take these shackles and eventually get around to watching the Sargon anime by Chili Bite. I learned I did. And I think we're, yep, uh, the last one here. 
Uh, Nadiak, it's about time you streamed at a time I was able to watch. Take my shekels, you potato slurping degenerate. Well, thank you all for the super berries. Hope you enjoyed our look at the bullying list. I know it was very short to the point, but I just wanted to capture that moment in time before it gets uh, completely fucked up the ass by people screwing around. Feel free to jump over. Uh, Ralph is, I believe, doing a stream right now. I think uh, he's got a guest on. I don't know. I've been so focused on the bully list, I couldn't tell you. Everyone, enjoy your evening. Go watch the Kill stream. It's live right now. I'm going to go play video games. I'll see you for the Secret Morning stream. We'll continue the saga of Daniel. If you don't know who Daniel is, well, that's a surprise, isn't it? You spin me right round, baby, right round, like a record, baby, right round, round, round. You spin me right round, baby, right round, like a record, baby, right round, round, round. You spin me right round, baby, right round, like a record, baby, right round, round, round. You spin me right round, baby, right round, like a record, baby, right round, round, round. I want your love. I want your 